That's what the police, uh, the authorities are saying. But tent is the election. These are some of the issues uh, generating controversies. But don't forget that we have uh, the spokesperson of the two parties standing by to talk to us. Both of them agitated and uh, passionate about the situation on the ground. They cannot wait to talk to us on China's television on Sunrise to give us their views on the call for the postponement. Chamberlain. Uh, thank you very much indeed, uh, Show. Yes, we know they can't wait, but uh, we all have to wait for that particular time to come in. So yes, we will hope that you will also hang in here with us while we'll go back to him and bring those who are in the thick of things in Edose to give us their impression. Let's bring it back home. Now, about the implication, because you heard Sean talk about uh, the cost. Uh, my colleague also mentioned that the politicians will think about different things here. It won't just be this security report. They'll think about how do we move from here. So there'll be so many things or factors that will be considered in terms of how politicians respond to this one. How much, because I know politicians have a certain gene that they always bring to bear in this country. How much of what happened previously can we say perhaps they're borrowing the leave from what happened about how the previous elections were postponed owing to security reasons? You see, um, Timberland, some of us should start getting angry, especially the young, young guys that we are. Over what? How long will we run this country like it's not our business? If it's, if it's your business, you would have looked at the possibility of postponing an election. You would have looked at culpability. If we have to postpone the election, the cost implication, who's going to bear the brunt. Now, if we need to look at culpability, then you will look at deterrence. Because if I know I'm going to be culpable, I will know I need to deter the need to postpone an election. So I will be running towards making sure it works. Probably that is why your security agencies need to parlay, need to liars, need to come up with strong reasons. Are you doubting the credibility of that intelligence? I'm not doubting credibility. I'm not supporting credibility. The intelligence that you are getting here is the one that can be circulated. The intelligence that you see on the papers is what can be circulated. If you really look at the blueprint of what has been generated, you will not be talking like this. And if that blueprint was generated and is not communicated to action bodies, people that should take action, then that is where the flaw comes in. There is a collapse of trust. So there is a collapse of professionalism. Can we infer that you're suggesting that there's more to this than meets the eye? There's always more to intelligence than was published. There's always more to what is released. Look at this um, uh, Clinton uh, letters and all of that going on. Now, there are other issues coming up that we had discovered before, but we are not revealed. Even in Nigeria here, yeah, let's come home. If we, we are on media okay. now. Pardon me, before right. we come, let's get our colleague in. Though. I hope you don't also lose your turn of thoughts. <laughs> okay. Mark, why? Well, I was listening to his analysis, and, you know, I'm just looking at what usually happens on an election day, and I'm wondering how this, you know, will fit into an election day. So, for instance, uh, during elections, we have restriction of movement. Uh, the, the state governor usually would declare a restriction of movement within a certain time, and people are only allowed to move within a certain radius. Don't you think that measures like this already make it impossible for miscreants to carry out whatever evil they were planning in the first instance? No. Well, um, I've also looked at that, you know, Edo State, I'm from Edo State, ma'am. Edo State is bordered by the forest region. Edo State is bordered by waterways. If we look at the waterways, there is a north and porosity for any water vessel to be able to permeate into any landmass and connect with the landmass. Look, what about the robberies that go on? What about the kidnappings that go on? Look at the forest region. We just discovered that we had Sambisa forest all of a sudden. That is all, well, almost bigger than a state. We just discovered that. In Edo State, we have so many pockets of kidnappings that have gone investigated that the, the suspect, the victims were kept in the forest and the victim comes out and tells you there was a community of people there. It was like a community. Now, those regions are permissible. Anybody can move within those transverse. Now, also, we had cases of political systems 
that ran amok when we had government agencies in uniform, military people, police people, that were not actually government agencies and they were mobile. We also have confessions, which you people also heard, where government agencies were used to abuse power. Now, who are you restricting movement from? Are they those that can perpetrate the crime or just innocent citizens? Those that want to perpetrate the crime already know your restrictions and the depth of your restrictions. They are ready to beat it. They have all the paraphernalia, they have the, the uniforms to wear, and the approvals. Just to, to, to pass through and wear a police vehicle can take you through anywhere. Nigeria don't have that statistics where you come towards a police officer, you can see the number MPF and be able to use a gadget to detect if this is a fake police number or if it's not deployed to that area and restrict it. Now, if I see a police officer, I'm on duty, it's an election day, to so salute and say hello. But I cannot ask the police officer, why are you here? And restrict his movement if he's not deployed within that zone. So, madam, you see, we have that porosity already. So it's going to be dicey. So how do you, do you have, would you say then that this warning was timely? Because uh, people also look at the timing. The, the, the two political parties were said to have had a major rally, was it on Tuesday? And, you know, on Wednesday, we get this warning from the police advising, uh, supposedly, uh, you know, INEC would definitely be under some amount of pressure now, but advising that INEC postpone it on Wednesday. How timely would you say this warning is? Yeah, if, if you ask me, which is a recap of what we have been saying here, the, time, the, the warning is embarrassing. It's embarrassing in the sense that we don't rush and warn. We gather, we liars, we parley. Who has been exchanging informations with them? Why will the head of the INEC and the police body and the DSS be coming out and saying, we want to cancel, we advise you to cancel because we have this information. He is saying, I don't want to cancel, I cannot cancel. I'm looking at this, I'm looking at that. There is no meeting point. So it's an embarrassment. So I will not bring myself to the point of saying, why is this information coming here? I'm going to say that I'm embarrassed that this information is coming out right now. Where have they been holding their strategic sessions? Who have they been exchanging strategic sessions, deliberations with? And what resolutions have been coming out from those strategic sessions? There must have been exchange of ideas, exchange of information, agreements reached. And that will inform the timetable, that will inform the security structure. You cannot tell me to put down a security structure when I don't have your timetable. I should have your timetable, I should review your timetable, I should look at the security challenge, the risk parameters, and I will agree. If my security structure will hold your timetable, if it would not, then we'll begin to do a shift and give and take situation and agree. In the final analysis, you think I next should go ahead with the elections? In the final analysis, I think we should pray. Pray? Yeah. Your security consultant. Yeah, I'm telling you, we, you have to recap all I've said. That it's means, embarrassing that means, for I us. Think, I think I'm, get, I'm getting somewhere. What, 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 analysis, you, what you haven't said yeah. that I think that maybe you are likely to say is that you don't think that we should go ahead with this election. What I want to say is what I'm still saying now, even as of today is not late. Get the representatives that have security direction in the INEC and get the pallet in the government section and let them meet. Now, they are doing a meeting. The INEC bosses are coming to meet with the government. Again, the INEC boss have all the strategic where we are to you run. He doesn't have the security information. You don't seem to trust this they information. Won't understand you, you don't the seem language. to trust this information, do you? They will not understand the language. There is a language. You can do, sit in the security you, do you, session. Do you understand the language? Yes, I do. So, bring, break it down for us in I don't seconds. have what they have. Listen, in security, you need to have what they have. If your mechanic starts your car, okay, he can tell you, sir, it is actually right the engine shaft has problem. But if your car is parked in your house and you are telling your mechanic that this uh, one, one stupid mechanic wants to take my money, he said my engine has problem. Then he, he will tell you, don't mind the mechanic. That's political. He should tell you, let me see and inspect the car. 
And I, I, I know part we say, if you pray, let me talk to the security, give me approval, okay. let me talk to the police and the DSS, then I will interpret what they have and guide you. And if you pray, that's spiritual. <laughs> no, if I need uh, to pray. Uh, but we have to go, I'm sorry. Okay. I, I, don't, I just said that to you passing. <laughs> okay. uh, Roy Elhidiebe is a security consultant, also the CEO of uh, August Eye Security. Thank you for coming on this morning. Yeah, I'm very grateful. We're back in a moment. Join us again.